Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a variety of things, but what I wanted to look at was the time cube. Oh, the time cube. So for those who don't know about the time cube, the time cube is a conspiracy slash scientific hypothesis and I I'm giving I'm being very generous by calling it a scientific hypothesis. Let's just let's just say hypothesis postulated by this gentleman here, Gene Ray. He goes by Dr. Gene Ray. No, he does not actually have a doctorate. And he has come up with the idea of the time cube. Now, the time cube is famous for being a concept that no one understands but Gene Ray, the wisest human. Yes, he goes by the wisest human. So let's read about the time cube and see if we can suss out what he's trying to say, okay? First of all, we have a diagram that says Earth has four days simultaneously in each rotation. You erroneously measure time from one corner. Earth body four corner time equals four leg mobility. Your ignorance of harmonic cube is demonic. Truth note, Earth has one day even if it stood still, and four days in one rotation. $1,000 to anyone who can disprove the harmonic cube. Yes, uh, Gene Ray is not alive anymore, for the record, so you cannot claim your $1,000, I'm sorry. So, he's obsessed with this idea that there are four days in one on Earth. And he'll illustrate it with something like this. And he will treat each face of the cube as if it's its own separate day. Now, he, he flowers this up a lot and uses a lot of words that don't mean what he thinks they mean. But from what I understand and from what I think is happening in his brain, and he clearly had some sort of... How do I want to put this? I would say he was not neurotypical. Um, I would say he may have even dealt with some sort of schizophrenic tendencies. I think what he's seeing here is the fact that time zones exist, but instead of splitting them into like 24 different time zones, he's for some reason doing it by four, and he is realizing that it's a different time at each part of the Earth. It's like sun up, sun down, noon, midnight, whatever. And he's ascribing that to different faces of this cube that he has put around the Earth. And he thinks because it's a different time zone that it's like a different day for each face of the cube. I could be wrong. I can't ask him. He's dead, but when I listen to him rant about this, it sounds like someone who thinks they've discovered the concept of time zones and doesn't understand that everyone already knows that it's a different time in different places on the Earth simultaneously. A cube has more than four sides, though. Okay, but he's talking about the outside, the, the walls of the cube as opposed to the ceiling and floor. Daddy Sume says they diagnosed him as schizophrenic and it just pissed him off. His family took him to see a psychiatrist at some point down the rabbit hole, talked about it. Gotcha. Is this bad attempt to qu quantize gravity or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. DM Trey, thanks for gifting some subs. So, let's take a look. In 1988... Meridian time personnel met in Washington to change Earth time. First words said was that only one day could be used on Earth to not change the one-day marshmallow. So they applied the one day and ignored the other three days. The marshmallow time was wrong, then it proved wrong today. This is a major lie, has so much boring feed from it's wrong. No man on Earth has no belly button. It proves every believer on Earth a liar. Children will be blessed for kissing of educated adults who ignore four simultaneous days. Same Earth rotation. 
Practice boring oneness upon earth of quadrants. Boring adult crime versus youth. <laughs> Support lie of integration. One educated are most dumb. Not one human except dead one. Man is paired two half for self. One god is only one quarter of god. Marshmallow a lie and word is lies. <laughs> Navel connects four quarters four. God is born of a mother. She left belly B signature. Every priest has ma sign but lies to honor unicorns. Belly B proves four corners. You dirty lying teachers only use the midnight to midnight one day, ignoring three other days. Time to not foul, already wrong marshmallow time. Lie that corrupts earth, you educated brilliant fools. Belly button logic works. When do teenagers die? So first of all, word salad on the bingo card. I, I, I've never seen, I've never seen something that's more word salad than that. That was, this hurts me to read and I feel like I'm having a stroke. Just Jalen says, Jesus, it's as if Aleister Crowley was a cosmologist. <laughs> Continue for a little bit before we get into the video content. Adults eat teenagers alive. No record of their death. Oh, it's almost like QAnon shit. Father-son image, not gods. Every man, born of woman. Belly button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name, Mama. Pastor told his flock that God created all of them. Truth was that they all had Mama-made belly buttons. Church was full of liars. Earth has four days in the same 24 hours. One day, God was wrong. Einstein was onest brain. Try my belly button logic. No God knows about four days. It is boring to ignore four days. Does your teacher know? Stromboli for Wi-Fi says, either he's neurologically atypical or I'm not going to pass my drug test. And Pyromancer says, what fresh hell did I walk into? Yeah, this is, this is some bad stuff. Let's go back to the bottom of the page. I believe the way that this was posted was the earliest posts are at the bottom. And I think he progressively got worse as time went on. So that's one of his last posts. So let's go to the bottom and look at some of the earlier posts and see if it makes more sense. Did you see the movie Matrix? Actually, the induced night dream world is synonymous with the academic religious induced daytime world wor or word world enslaved of humans. Word has no inherent value, as it was invented as a counterfeit and fictitious value to represent natural values in commerce. Unfortunately, human values have declined to fictitious word values. Unknowingly, you are living in a word world as in a fictitious life in a counterfeit nation, which you could consider matrix-induced dream world. Can you distinguish the academic-induced word world from the natural real world? Beware of the change when your brain is free from induced word world enslavement, for you could find that the natural real world has been destroyed. Now you can see, while this is still kind of nonsense, and he's basically just saying, I think truth is no longer truth, and that they're confusing real world physical things with their complicated learning words that I don't understand, and they're trying to confuse me. You can actually understand the thought process here. It's not good, and it's still delusional, but it's somewhat coherent, right? Um, by the way, Matrix on the bingo card as well, yes. So it's really interesting to see how his cognitive ability and his ability to explain himself in a way that others can understand degraded over time. I'm not going to make fun of that. It's really, really sad. And, and, and it's something that I wish he would have gotten help for. But it is fascinating to see how someone can degrade like that from like somewhat coherent, but maybe delusional to outright nonsense that you just can't understand. Yeah, this is when he went on Tech TV before it was G4. Man invented word and calls it God. The word world imposed by the academic institutions is synonymous with the Matrix's induced dream world. Both are efficient mind enslavers and humans know not their difference from the cubic world. 
All knowledge of the human word animal is insignificant when his fictitious word world is compared to nature's own dynamic and harmonic time cubes creation principle. You get it. It's a lot of this kind of stuff. Uh, let's get to the video stuff just because I'm sure you're bored of me reading nonsense at this point. So he did a, a lecture at Georgia Tech and another person who was actually a follower of his did a video series when they went to go visit him because he did have at least one person who genuinely believed him for whatever that means and came and did a little documentary so do you guys want to watch the lecture or do you want to watch the little docu thing that a follower of his made who made the badges uh honestly i bought them <laughs> i bought them on etsy uh, hydrate. Will do. Lecture. Most people are saying lecture. Okay, let's go with the lecture. Similar to Dr. Bronner's soap? Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just ramblings. Oh, no. Hello, fellow cubics. <laughs> you didn't know that you were born a cubic, but you've been taught singularity. How many of you have an open mind? You know you can put garbage in an open mind. It, should, it has a, needs a filter on it. Needs a cubic filter. So that's, that's our problem. That we we are taught to accept too much what we are uh, given today without even thinking about it. Now, uh, my background, uh, I'm one of 12 children. I was reared in a little place over, well, I was born in Manchester, Georgia, and then I uh, moved to Alabama and went to school over there in another place they called Slap Out. Uh, they have no tourist trips there. And it's only two stores. Every time you go to buy something, they say, sorry, Slap Out. And I used to do a lot of cotton picking there. And then I uh, went to the service and I was over in uh, Pearl Harbor when the war was over. And then we went into Nakasaki. Japan took the prisoners of war out, and Admiral Byrd spent the night aboard our ship. And, the, uh, and I came back and, uh, to Atlanta and married and had children. We moved to Miami. I worked on, did electrical work on the Orange Bowl, Holly Hill Racetrack, and all over the beach down there. I was on a service truck for about five years down there. And uh, then I came back and... Uh, do I think Peter, from a different segment you do, could be heading down the same road? It... Uh, Basically depends on if his issues are stemming from just, like, developmental or, or egotistical reasons, or is it, like, indicative of some neural issue? Is it indicative of some mental issue? Like, Gene, Gene Ray clearly has... I guess he was diagnosed with schizophrenia, right? I don't think Peter is, to my knowledge, you know? And I'm... Certainly not qualified to make any sort of, you know, guess as to whether or not he would have that. Um, but Gene Ray ha has that going on, which is why he is like this. Peter's a garden variety conspiracy theorist. I don't know. Blackwing Hecate says, what did you miss? Just time cube. I went back down to St. Petersburg. I was down about 30 years. And I worked on a Fulman on a power plant. I worked on a nuclear power plant down in Homestead, Florida. And so I've, I've had my own electrical construction business out in Tucker. I was electrical inspector of Fulton County. And I did some of the first ceiling electric heat cable in Atlanta. My uh, brother-in-law and I used to have all electric golf cars in the city of Atlanta at one time. And he and Bobby Dodd used to be in business. Dodd's secretary's son used to work for him in the golf car business. And he built the Atlanta Country Club. He used to have all the pro football exhibition games here at one time. And so he always said that I could just about do anything. I like a challenge. If I see a, a strange name, I'll ask him what to do. And you can find uh, companies that, that do things that you do. Mike Mack says, I about. remember Cubics, the but Saturday the, cartoon uh, on WB. Good times. Anyhow, Wait, he's I, not talking about the show. Into, uh, what the hell is he talking about? I watched that show, Cubics. I feel like the animation is not going to have aged as well as I remember. Oh, no. Wow, yeah, that looks much worse than I remember it looking. 
Whoops. The mar marble playing thing, that's kind of where I found the key to the Great Pyramid. And the, uh, Hydrate. I have a trademark service mark on it, and a Mr. Marble suit, and I've been on national TV. Let's see if I can skip to where he actually starts talking about Time Cube. Body. That's where all the creation is done, but it's not just this big egg in there. I have the uh, World Tournament up in his true body. And the, I've got NASA pictures of midnight, but all our villages have been destroyed. We have communities today, which are cells of the government, which are filled with strangers. And so it's the, uh, but anyhow, we had to uh, uh, change that. Now, one thing about the uh, time cube, it, uh, we, I, I need to get kind of a positive uh, reaction on this thing. This is a, a, a clear plastic cube. It represents time. It's got the earth in it. And when the sun shines on one corner, it creates an office of midnight. Those are the two majors. And uh, where they join, it creates the two minors of sun up and sundown. The midday, the midnight to midday is 24-hour day. Sundown is a 24-hour day. Midnight is a 24-hour day. And sun up 24-hour day. And the... Uh, the, the midday is like a light race day, sundown Asian, midnight black, sun up Indian. And it's, it's, each one of these rotates to its own separate 24 hour day. That's simple math. Again, I think he's picturing time zones and he doesn't understand that he's just describing time zones? But not even like an accurate version of time zones. He's just split it into four instead of. 24 I I I don't get it I don't get it how come people can't understand that that's no big deal I've got I get death threats from NASA they say you're rocking the boat so people can't handle it but they can't handle it because they've never been allowed to know it and the I've got NASA pictures that shows a ring of molten lava around the equator of a planet look at it closely the top part of the lava is moving in the direction he thinks there's a ring of lava around the equator. Okay. This is this is like the opposite of flat earthers believing in the ice wall along the <laughs> circumference of the flat earth. <laughs> in one direction, the bottom part's moving in the opposite Death direction. Death threats from NASA? It's probably people trolling him. I would imagine it's shit bags from like oh god i don't think the kiwi farms existed back in the day um it's probably shitty people who were like haha wouldn't it be funny if we sent him death threats and said we were nasa either that or they're completely made up in his mind i don't know which created you can even see the like the atlantic ocean where you got part half coming and half yeah it could be something awful for him half of it going now if you uh <laughs> The Earth is not an entity because it has two opposite poles. It rotates in different directions. No, they don't. What? It, it's, uh, it has it's two opposites, and that's, that's how everything exists. It's between the opposites with a zero value. As an entity, the opposites cancel out, just like plus and minus. The, the whole universe... Jamie says he's a very mentally disturbed man and no one on this planet will probably ever understand him, sadly. Yeah, that's probably unfortunately and uh, not exactly satisfying, but probably the correct answer. It's just nonsense that you can't logically understand what he's talking about because he didn't logic himself into it. It's just nonsense. Mike Mack says, I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went downtown and I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down and the flames went higher and it burns, burns, burns the ring of fire, the ring of fire. That's the lowest you'll ever hear my voice and I hate it. Uh, Jeff Waldorf, thanks for raiding with a party of 11. <laughs> Go check out Jeff Waldorf's channel. <laughs> hey, my grandfather's in the Michigan Country Music Hall of Fame, okay? <laughs> it's composed of opposites and at, with a zero value. As an entity, it cancels out. All humans... Fun fact, there is also a Michigan Country Music Hall of Fame. I'm not lying. 
just between the two opposites of femininity and masculinity. And that's how we exist, as opposites. As an entity, they cancel out. We don't even exist. The whole universe is, is, is uh, uh, it's kind of like the, the opposite sexes, the opposite hemisphere. That's, what, that's, that's how all existence is. And you can put, your, uh, put a human head in an animal body, in, in a tiger, and it, it, uh, it has to act like the tiger form. If you put a god in a human form, he's going to have to act like the god. He has a limitation of the, of the figure. And the, uh, the evolution if it's, uh, where would it affect the family? The, you can see the uh, uh, a, a child, like you can plant a seed. And grow. No, he's not a flat earther. He believes the earth is round, but he believes time is cubic. He's a time cuber. Go to a tree, but you can't do it. I should say he's the time cuber. <laughs> but a child, the child has to be born. And so... Uh, you can't change the genetics on the child that's being born. So actually, and you really can't create an adult uh, first entity because you need the grandparent uh, to tell the adult how to raise a child. That's a new, just a grandparent, I mean, just a parent by itself would not know how to raise a child. You need the grandparent. And it's what you call human metamorphosis. There's a like baby, child, parent, and grandparent. Last they all of the, the time, same time cubers. A mother and baby the same age. There's no mother, no father, no grandparent until the baby's born. All our math and science is, is, is erroneous. Even three dimensions. If you go take it into your fourth. What group is he talking to? He's talking to uh, students at Georgia Tech. Um, his website was relatively popular in sort of the web 1.0 era. Um, a, a lot of college students, especially physics students, would find his website and kind of share it around as like a joke, basically. Like, haha, look at this crazy guy. Um, so he got invited to a couple colleges to go speak for students who were fans of his website for ironic reasons. Which honestly is a little mean. Um, but he had a good time. Uh, he t he's talked about going to speak at these colleges when he was still alive, and he he seemed to like like it. Yeah, he he went to MIT and gave a similar talk. Um, that one was not filmed, but people have written about it. Um, I don't know. It's he was an interesting guy. B Silver says, "Ooh, he's a cubic time lord." corner bedroom I can't use four corners here but if you go into your four corner bedroom with it the uh, it does not account for the fourth corner perspective dimension and and so everything has the, the four dimensions are like the four corners you got midday and midnight sun up and sundown those are the two minors got two majors and two minors but the uh, we we, uh, we don't recognize it we, and another thing we say a cube has a uh, six sides Actually, uh, this is like your bedroom. It has four sides, four corners, and it has a top and bottom. But we're inside it. Now, if you're going to use it for volume, you can uh, use uh, the uh, three dimensions on it. And uh, another thing, the cube, four 24-hour days would equal 96, and that's a good number. If you use 96 in the, as a totality of which of the cube, the, uh, I think the pi 3.14 would equal pi 3.20 which is 80% of four, and the perfect pi. Also, the, uh, the, the, uh, like if you trace your ancestry back, you have four grandparents, they have four, they have four, they have four. A few hundred years, I mean, I mean uh, just 10 generations, you're going outwardly. You're not going back to a point like a creator, a God, you're going outwardly. So how far do you go back? I mean, if you get going, you, you have more ancestors than people on earth. I think he's failed to account for the fact that people share a lot of ancestors. So how and there were bottlenecks in human development, as there are with a lot of species. How far do you go back? According to great Basically, he failed to account for incest. Great Pyramid, your, four, four, your grandparents are the four corners. And each cornerstone are the great grandparents. As far as you go back toward your ancestry, the DNA. So your DNA is, uh, uh, the uh, male DNA is divided every time he, he, they met. What do you miss? Nothing coherent. And Daddy Sume says, wind cest. Nope, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're not gonna.
we're not going to Daddy Sume. Married to a, a different group. And so, uh, but, but we need to uh, see if we can understand the, the, the most valuable thing to uh, not is right now to see if we can understand how we have four different days. People can't understand it. But the, but it's very simple. Can you all understand why we have four 24-hour days on this? Each, each midday, midnight opposite, sun up and sundown, they're the, they're the miners. Each one of those, uh, the, uh, the earth rotates inside these four corners. And now to cube the, the earth sphere, uh, to, well, to square the circle, you, uh, you divide a line from across the corners here and divide the earth into quadrants. That's all, that's a totality. You can't divide it any further. All further division occur in one of the four corners. One sec, guys. I got an email. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't important. I'll put on some music real quick. I'm, we're working on doing a home loan, and I have to email our mortgage lender person. So hold on. Let me put on some music while I shoot off a real quick email. Phrasing. I know. I see the problem. I, th I emailed them earlier, and I think I accidentally emailed uh, Baja instead of... Uh... I responded, we're both CC'd on the email, and I think I emailed it only to Baja the response accidentally instead of the mortgage lender. Whoops. So I fixed it. Should be good now. Uh, Jamie Lynn Turner says, oh my god, I'm starting to make sense to me. I'm going to stop listening. <laughs> All right, back to Time Cube. Sorry about that. Important adult things to do. <laughs> and so, and, and it, but uh, that'd be the uh, plane, uh, the square, but you had to have a sphere to encompass the, the poles. And so that's the reason it's, it's a, a Time Cube rather than a, a, than a square time. And so, but the, uh, <sighs> you divide Earth, and it, Earth has four, uh... And now I got an automatic response that said the mortgage lender... isn't going to be back in the office till Thursday. Yay. Quadrant corners to it. And each one has beginning and ending of its own separate rotation. There are four of them. And so, uh, but, and also, like I say, you, you got the, uh, like a white man is closer to a black man than he is to a white woman, because men and women are uh, on totally opposite hemispheres. But uh, white men be like midday, and black men at midnight, sun up Indian, sundown Asian. But we don't, we, we uh, the integration Black races, they all race, all four races are good, but mixing them is kind of like we used to mix slot. You create a racial slot. Oh, no. I, okay, the pseudoscience just turned racist. Why does it always do that? It destroys both races. And what? <laughs> Look at the audience! <laughs> so many face palms. Day, I think when times get bad, we're gonna we'll, we'll have a uh, the uh, we're gonna have a bad thing uh, reaction between the races, and the uh, and it's coming to that.
But anyhow, we have to change. We have to uh, recognize the, this, this cubic creation. What we teach is singularity, and the uh, we have to change. It's what we're taught in school. So it's like selfism. It's like a single parent family, uh, no, a creation, a single family creation. And so we have to uh, uh, recognize this time cube because it's perpetual. It's like the family of the uh, village. It's a and we had, to, but the way we're going now, Einstein's uh, uh, his linear time is like drifting down a river, like a party boat drifting down the river. You go out there and yell at them, hey, that's a, a hundred foot waterfall down the road. Down the, the, I don't even think Einstein said time was linear. I think he said it was relative. Well, I, why am I, why am I critiquing this? What was the point? We all know this is nonsense. I'm sorry. Down the river. It's my natural instinct to want to debunk this, but I don't even need to. It's just babbling. I get it. And they just keep waving back. That's what our society is doing. We're going down that, that uh, river down to the waterfall, and, and we had to correct it. Ever noticed a good chunk of conspiracy nuts are racist? Uh, I have a hypothesis for that. I don't know if I want to get into it, though. I was just look, trying to find some notes. Princess Amelia says, I can imagine someone staring at whoever invited this guy after the race realism bit and then being like, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Einstein and a bunch of the uh, other scientists said that uh, we have to change our system in order to survive. But you've got to learn what the system is. And so the, uh, and the scientists are looking for toe, the theory of everything. And they say once we discover it, the average guy can understand it as well as the scientists, but they were wrong. The average guy I talked to can understand it, but the scientists can't understand it. And I've even written to the Union of Concerned Scientists. This is simple math, but people are afraid to acknowledge it. I can talk to a fellow for an hour, and he will agree to everything I say. But at the end, he said, I believe in God, and I can't accept it. This, this religion is it's, it's an ancient ignorance. And, and Please accept my brand new ignorance in lieu of your ancient ignorance. Mine is so much more fun. And to, for us to survive, we're going, we're going to have to change it. And it, it's a belief. It's fifth percent wrong anyhow. And so it's, uh, I, I seek to know. That's what I do. I, I study all the time. I buy books and I read things. I quit reading the comics and, and the newspapers because it takes too much time. And I make notes. Of every it takes too much time to read the newspaper and comic books, but you read full books everything i do i got tons of notes every, every, every thought about the time cube or something i read write it down and i'm it really surprised me when i look back at some of the stuff i've written but the uh he does whistle when he talks it's very whistly the, actually the uh uh you you got a feminine cube and a masculine like the hemisphere you got a feminine the hemisphere and a masculine the hemisphere which equates to a, a two cubes and uh, uh, you got a feminine cube then and a masculine cube. Life is a crapshoot. That's what it's all based about, based upon. And so, but the, uh, we, we have to start, m most schools will not even allow the students to even discuss or debate the time cube. I get email all the time from college students. They said that they, uh, uh, I've just elected president of the student body and said, we're going to debate the time cube come hell or high water. I never hear from them. They're either threatened or kicked out of school. I get hundreds of emails like that. They will not allow them to even discuss it. But if, if, it, if the students could understand it and the, uh, uh, if, if it could be debated by someone who knew what, what it was all about, then it would change everything that we've ever talked about. Uh, most of your, your ancient old uh, mathematical questions, by using the time cube system, you can solve them. And it's like the uh, uh, the middle, the excluded middle. Are y'all familiar with that? The excluded. I'm gonna skip to the documentary thing. We might come back to this later. Documentary. Again, this was a follower of Gene Ray, who went to go visit him and documented the whole thing. Uh, it's gonna sound like this guy is being sarcastic. He's not. He's just another person who is not, you know, typical in the head. Hi, 
I'm Richard Janczarski, second wisest human. However, it is Dr. Gene Ray, cubic, who is the wisest human on Earth. I visited Dr. Ray in the USA to discuss with him nature's time cube. While travelling by plane across America, a large storm brewed itself up and a cubelet's conspiracy caused several flights to Atlanta to be cancelled. But I caught a flight the next day, and when I eventually arrived in Dr. Ray's hometown, Dr. Ray drove his car over to pick me up outside the Waffle House. I'm trying to think whether to, uh, how long ago did you have breakfast? Um, um, oh, I don't know, I think it was a couple of hours or something, but anyway, um... But you're not, you're not hungry now? Um, oh, not so much, so, um, yeah. How was your flight? Um, yeah, pretty good, yeah, just, um, took a few hours, I had to go on, like, long, long 14-hour flight from Australia to Los Angeles across the Pacific, you know? Yeah. And then I had the, um, then I had from, um, LA to Dallas, and then, Come up, Kitty. um, then Dallas to Atlanta, you know? Yeah. That guy came from, uh, Dallas last night, uh, oh, yeah. uh, he got a weird thing going over there. Oh, right, uh, Lance Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got a w weird thing going. He, he said they go going in and throw apples or something. I think he put me on the, uh, all the racket they had going on. Up there. And uh, he didn't talk to me. He just left the mic open so I could hear all the stuff that was going on, but I couldn't understand it. All right, Let's okay. See. How are you now, 20? Um, yeah, I'm 20 at the moment. It's going to be 21 in a uh, few weeks. Yeah. Well, Monday I'll be 80 years old. Oh, right, great, yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Mitchell subscribes for 11 months and says, I can't believe it's been 11 months since I was indoctrinated into the trans agenda. Thank you for being awesome, Hannah. Well, thank you. Zero M80 says, all the great minds meet at the Waffle House. I've never eaten at a Waffle House. Um, I don't even know if there are any near me. Let me look. I'm not going to show you where I live, though. <laughs> waffle House. The nearest Waffle House is... Two hours... In 22 minutes from me. I don't think I'll be getting Waffle House anytime soon. Mm. Yeah, pretty well, and um, fortunately, all, all those people with their death threats didn't manage to um, assassinate you or anything, so um, yeah, I guess um, yeah, it's still spreading the time given everything, even though academia. Even though academia often suppresses it. Yeah. You got brothers and sisters? Oh, no, I have. I have a younger sister. I have one one younger sister. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna skip to episode two just because the wind from the car is annoying me. Um, and uh, yes. So it has to be kind of Nietzschean philosophy and all of that. Yeah, yeah. And it gives you a definition of words and stuff in here. Oh, great. So. Um, and uh, yes. So this is the kind of book that I buy. If they have something religious, in fact, this is even based upon religion. Yeah. See? But you got to know what their thinking is in order to change anything. Yeah, exactly. Because like, um, some Did of he just call Nietzsche of religious? religious? Some of these philosophers, <laughs> but I know that Nietzsche, for instance, yeah. Nietzsche was an atheist, so he's one of the better philosophers because he, he rejected all the religion and he wanted to kind of transcend the religion. See, I, I don't religion. like the word atheist. You know why? Oh, right. Because it's, it's a religious word. Yeah. And it's like cops and robbers. Yeah. Atheist is always the robber. Yeah. See? And the, uh, the Christian is always the cop. Yeah. See, so in other words, if you're atheist, you're bad anyhow. Yeah. See, so I reject the word atheist. Yeah. I tell them I'm not an atheist, that I'm a thinker. I'm a knower. Yeah. I seek to know, not think. Yeah. Because think. <laughs> oh, look, it's obnoxious me right when I became uh, non religious. What, what, what kind of things do you like to watch on the TV? Uh, well, I watch everything. Ball games, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't watch it too much. Don't have time to watch it. All right. Right 
Jesus Christ. The audio's so bad. Included middle. And uh, that's when they, they say, is, uh, is there a God or not a God? And there's no, they say there's no middle. But actually, there is a middle. And uh, you can go back to the uh, axis. The axis is tilted, what, 2, 3.45? That's what we're taught. But actually, the top, the north hemisphere had a uh, minus 2, 3.45. It has a plus 2, 3.45. Southern Hemisphere has the same. In other words, the four corners uh, tilt. If you add them together, they, you have a perfect vertical Earth axis, which represents the perfection of death, because there are no seasons, no life. Life is based upon the imperfection. It's a perfect imperfection. And the, uh, the kind of the straight line on the heart monitor is perfection. Life is the imperfection or the oscillation. But it's it, but we teach in, instead of teaching uh, uh, the, uh, what we call it, well, we teach uh, dualism. Dualism like two mules pulling a wagon or whatever. But the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the black and whites are different, exist as opposites. Supply of swimming. Okay. Just, uh, okay. So, uh, question time. Um, the, four, the four corners are represented by the Indians, the whites, the blacks, and the Asians. Right. Um, when the race war begins, are the Turkish people going to side with the blacks or the Asians? Oh, that's a two-part question. Furthermore, what side, if, uh, are, are the Native Americans and the Persian Indians on the same team? And if so, which way are the mestizos going? All six billion, I want to know pe the all six billion people will be within four corners. Okay. Just, like, all people in so here. So could I shoot, like, so if my dad was, like, or, like, so if you were in Turkey and you had... Like maybe a natural sort of tendency to lean more towards Asian people because I don't know. Played you played uh, DDR a lot. Would you? <laughs> would you? Oh no! Point, would you go to the Asian corner? Well, we, we're kind of late in that now. I think we're gonna have to have a war about to thin us out. See, most humans. I mean, a lot of animals when they overpopulate like, like we have done. We we are being invaded today by the government. But the uh, most, a lot of the animals control their uh, growth, like the little lemon. It, it, when it multiplies, they swim, in, swim out in mass and drown a whole bunch of them. The gazelle over in Africa, when they over multiply, they will swim back and forth across the river until thousands of them die. So a lot of them have different methods. But we, we don't have the, the, the moral uh, thing to uh, control our growth. We just keep growing. And one day, I don't know whether you all read about Easter Island or not, a small island a, a thousand miles out in the Pacific. And the people went over there and they cut down all the forest to make the boats and uh, to go fish in the houses and to put the, build those big old monolithic icons. Okay, he's talking everything. about Easter it's Island? Practices in cannibalism. We on the, we're doing the same principle. We, we, I was just, it's just going to take longer to do it. But we, we are on the road to cannibalism in this country. Uh, we're going to keep taking some more questions, and I'd like to ask everybody that does ask questions to please be respectful of our guest. And uh, if if I ask you to move on, please do so because we're going to have a lot of people lining up. Hi, uh, I also have a two-part question. Uh, my first one is: How exactly are you defining entity? Like back to the beginning of your talk. Entity. Yes. There is no entity. Entity is when the opposites. Uh, the opposites. As an entity, they cancel out. They don't exist. We only exist as opposite. The whole universe, everything in our universe exists as opposite. Like feminine and masculine. If you put them together as an entity, they see, if you call Earth an entity, the two poles cancel out. We exist, everything exists as opposites. Okay, and so basically you're saying you put two opposites together and you get zero. They cancel each other out, right? Well, together, they exist as opposites. But as an entity, they cancel out. So... Would light and dark count for this also? What's that? Uh, light and dark. Well, they, they, they are actually separate. It's like the uh, mid, uh, whites at midday and midnights at the, the uh, midnight. I mean, the blacks at midnight. They, all human racial colors exist. Why is he bring, Why does he keep being racist? Why? Between the whitest white and the blackest black. 
Now, the Asian and Indian are about the same color because one of them represent the coming of the sun and the other one the going of the sun. They're kind of on a neutral line. But the, the uh, uh, white and black are the two extremes. So when, when they are separate, you know, they can exist, but when they're together is when they cancel each other out. It, I'm just making sure I'm getting your syntax right here, right? Well, because if, if you have this room and say you, you wall it off, yeah. half the side is dark, and half of it is light. And so you could say they are opposites that way, you know. But as soon as you get rid of that wall, then the whole room is still light. It well, might be less, but they don't cancel each other out, so. Well, the, you, have, you have opposite sectors like on the hemisphere, mm -hmm. but each corner, I mean, each hemisphere is, is, is opposite, right? well, and the uh, light, midday light, sundown Asian, mm -hmm. midnight black, and sun up Indian. But I, I'm not referring to hemispheres right now. You say that this uh, permeates all opposites. So it shouldn't have to be so much a hemispherical thing as just a, you know, looking at the natural world, at what we see every day, you know, having a room with light and without light. Well, you can't have both. Well, I'm, I'm still having, you know, a hard time getting there. But the, uh, uh, anyhow, the, the, the black and whites are different and uh, like, like, like the two, and so, uh, but the way we're mixed today, I, I call integration day a racial slot. It destroys both races. Mm -hmm. And so, that, uh, this is disgusting. Stromboli for Wi Fi says at least Ken Ham is anti racist. This guy is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and a racist bigot. Yeah. If you understand, I, I don't know whether I answered your question there, you're trying to get or not. So. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Hey, you were talking about the four corners of the cube. Right. I think that the cube has eight corners, though, so does that make no, it a eight? Cube, a, cube ha, a cube, a dice like cube, actually has eight tri corners. It equals 24. Same as six and four equals 24. But a cube can be as erratic as a human can be. I mean, we, we kind of a, a cubic form. We, we look at a dice, you know, like a perfect cube. But it ha actually has eight tri corners, and and uh, but you go in, in a, in a schoolroom, and the teacher tells you stand in and go go to a corner. How many choices do you have? What about like? No, you can't stand in those. You can only stand in the four corners. That's all you have to stand in. Four corners there, but what about up here? Well, well you don't you don't no. stand up there. You you <laughs> you yeah. Uh, uh, but, but. Why is this guy allowed to talk? Like, was he invited? What's the point of this? Yeah, the students invited him. It's a student-led event. Like, they... I, I mentioned it earlier, but in the early days of, like... Not even the early days, because I guess the 90s were a thing. This was 2005. During the Web 1.0 days, among certain university students... Um, both at this college and MIT, and I'd imagine other places, they, they passed around his website because they thought it was funny, because it's obviously ridiculous, um, and just doesn't make any sense. So it became a meme among these students, and they joked about it, and then someone decided, let's invite this guy to come talk at the college, and they did, and that's this. It's basically a room full of people who all know they're there to make fun of him, Except for him, he does not understand that. But the uh... yes, one of the one of the first lol cows, a little bit like like Christine Chandler. That's true. Thank you. Yeah, you are. Doctor Ray, um, you mentioned that all entities are collections of opposites. I was. The things we did for entertainment in the days before YouTube and Twitch. I think this is the same year YouTube was founded, actually. Yeah. Wondering if the universe itself is an entity and whether it has an opposite? I'm still having a problem picking up from that mic. Uh, does the universe itself have an opposite? The universe? Well, the, uh, I call the space. Space is like a medium for the, uh, uh, the um, solar system. And it's kind of like it supports the body as a lower, just like the ocean it supports the bodies of whales and then schools of fish, and just like the uh, it supports the human, the tribes 
and, th and, and, and things of that the nature. The chaotic the days of the early 2000s, like the land, uh, good times. But the, uh, the, I see the space as a medium for those others, but everything out there would, uh, uh, it, it would be composed of opposites. That's the only way they are, they're created out there. Every, everything is composed by opposites with a, with a zero value. So do you think there is another universe with people just like us living as our opposites? Well, they wouldn't come here because we're practicing singularity and we'd put them in a cage or something. I agree. Uh, Hello, Dr. Ray. Uh, now, we may, uh, I think most people, and myself included, possibly have a mistaken uh, understanding of time. But we normally like to think of time as a thing or a happening or something that's, that's independent of a given op, uh, object. And I was wondering if you could elucidate the, uh, the connection between the, the Earth with the, uh, the four simultaneous days happening and uh, time itself, which we like to think of as a thing that's independent from... Well, well the, the, uh, the time is actually uh, motion. It's life. And it's like the, uh, uh, as it rotates, it, it's like a, a gearbox. It, it kicks you up one every day. And, and it's, it's perpetual. And so, uh, let's see, there was another thing I was going to add to that. But the, oh, a clock. Look at the clock, clock face. It's got one hour hand. It's got four quadrants. Time is moving in all four quadrants simultaneously. The hour hand needs three extra subs to it to show that it's moving in the other three. And, and, and if you get to the, uh, uh, the 96, the number 96 again, like I say, it is the... Uh, the uh, 424 gives you the uh, 96 hours, but then we call it the four different ones, there are four different days, you call them four different worlds. You could call it a black world, a white world, Asian world, an Indian world. And they, they could all exist at the same time. That's what some of the other uh, groups were trying to do. It's, it's Is he just trying to like do some sort of science to explain why he thinks segregation is good? Is that the entirety of the reason for the time cube? Corner, like a cornerstone. I think I understand. <laughs> Evening, Dr. Ray. Uh, I have two questions for you. You've explained pretty clearly about how you believe time cube applies to Earth, and I'm wondering how time cube would apply to different planets. In particular, two examples that you might see in different solar systems. One would be in a planet that orbits a sun but doesn't rotate. For example, Mercury doesn't spin, but it goes around the sun. The other would be a planet that rotates and orbits one star, but then that whole system orbits a different star. So you've got two stars illuminating the planet the entire time. Well, you explain well, how time cube works in those two planets. So. Well, they probably wouldn't work there because we don't live there. <laughs> Good answer. But we, we are kind of cubic, so we live on this, and everything relates to the cube is on this planet, but you're going to have variations of it. The cube is a perfect example, but you're going to the different sizes, closer to the sun, further to the sun, large, smaller, turning faster, and everything is all, is all going to be different. But like I say, the, the planets themselves, all, all of them, they, uh, they are created, had the two uh, hemisphere pole, and they rubbed together. That's how they are created, which they, and uh, as an entity, they don't exist. They only exist as opposites. But, but they, shouldn't the physical law operate independently of whether or not they're white, black, yellow, or brown people around to observe it? And shouldn't it operate the same on any planet it, in which it's in the universe? Yeah, it, it's the, uh, uh, it represents all creation, the, uh, the, the time cube does. So if it uh, represents all creation, then how could the time cube apply to Mercury when Mercury doesn't even have days, it just rotates the sun the entire well, time. And it, it, it's, it's a different rotation. That's why we don't live on it. I'm, there I'm, isn't what, any rotation what, at all. What, in what I am interested in is to take what we have here today and do, do reverse engineering on it and try to find out how to live on, on this planet where we're destroying the water and, and we're spending millions of dollars uh, to go to these places to try to find a gallon of water. And we got it here, and we're destroying it. We don't know how to live on Earth. Once we learn how to live on Earth, then we can transport that. But many planets are un uninhabitable for, for humans. We can't live. Many planets are uninhabitable. 
This, this is the only one here that we know of so far. And it may be the only one. But if the Religion is a dangerous thing. He's actually not religious. Another one, they wouldn't want us to know about it. <laughs> Just the defeated uh, walk away. Yeah. Two questions, I believe. Uh, so, first question is, uh, in cubic time, does it have a beginning and an end? Yeah, it's like the uh, uh, it's a time of linear. I got pictures that shows a conveyor belt. Shows they're in one room. They've got the coming of the from the uh, present and going into the past. But they're missing the fourth corner. I did see the H three Crowder the, video. It was it very funny. And ends. In other words, it's cubic. It's not the uh, uh, it's time is not linear. It's, it's it goes around and it continues around and that's like I say it's like Earth click, clicking everything up every day it clicks it up uh, up a day and you age by it. So time is non-linear but it's not cubic. It, it is cubic. It goes around it's the circle. yeah actually it's, it's like the four corners of the Great Pyramid like each corner is a time for that local area you go around that four corners I've got some graphs I got them on my website but you got you got Four corners at each corner, they, the four cornerstones. And there'll be four days, and each one rotates its own separate, and they're in a, they're in a lock. This one will be a corner one. Uh, you know, the white race and the black race are opposite. Uh, my question uh, sort of goes back to the idea of uh, the opposites, and you mentioned that, uh, for example, the, uh, uh, you know, the white race and the black race are opposite, and uh, they shouldn't mix because they would sort of corrupt each other. Uh, but you also mentioned that uh, male and female are also opposite. But it seems to me that without uh, mixing them, we can't really fix the same humanity very well. I don't think I got your last part. But the, the uh, mixing white one day, black and white one day will be explosive if mixing day and night. Because they're, they're opposite and they're going to react together. Right, but uh, male and female are also opposite. Well, they, 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 they get some terrible... Uh, Battles too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's probably going to seem very, very simple, but if my friend were to take some nodos right now, just tons and tons of nodos, right now the sun setting, how long would it be until the next sunset? Would it be uh, a 24 hour period or a 96 hour period until he sees the next sunset? Well, the, the individual can only uh, occupy or uh, uh, experience a single corner at a time. Like if you had four people in the four different corners in a room, each one of them move. One of them goes to one, two, three, four, and the other one starts at two, three, four, uh, one, and, and so forth. And so they're moving simultaneously all four. But a person can only, be, can only uh, uh, occupy one corner or one of the four days at a time, he can't go. He can't, can't go to four corners. But each corner you're in represents cor the the other three corners for somebody else. So that a, it's a four by four. You don't say sixteen because they are opposites and they will cancel out. And so therefore you can't say six. And just like the the uh, I'm gonna throw this like the three times uh, minus three times. I mean a minus one times a minus one. They say equals. Uh, a plus one. That's kind of like say, if you're plus Giga Sam, Northern. thanks for subscribing for two months. As what? Who is this person, Hannah? I thought I was subscribing to Time Cube. This is Time Cube. American and minus the South American. That's like saying uh, a, a South American times a South American equals to a North American. They, they, are, they should be. Oh yeah, he doesn't think negative times a negative equals a positive because he doesn't understand math. This isn't going to be the whole stream, guys, by the way. I'm surprised 245 people are still here. Thank you for sticking around for this. <laughs> we'll move on soon. The opposite measurements. All right. Thank you. Uh, why specifically is time defined as cubic? Could you not, for example, define a time dodecahedron or a time sphere? The, the, uh, well, I call it cubic because it, it's like two kinds. you got a feminine cube. Like the the uh, light light race woman, the Asian, the black, and the Indian, and you got the the uh, uh, masculinity, and it's kind of like the two dice. It's kind of like a crapshoot, and so that's that's really nice that they uh, and they have a, it's kind of like your room. 
you exist between like a bedroom. You got four corners in there that you can sleep in or put your bed in, and uh, either a classroom. It's got four corners you can stand in. Two hundred fifty people are here to listen to my uncomfortable cubic. laughter when and, he gets uh, racist. It has the, uh, uh, four corners, Ooh. the four sides, and the uh, uh, top and bottom. So, but, so you move, you walk between the top, your top, top of your head and bottom of your feet, but you got four directions to go. But couldn't you, like for example, the dice example, couldn't you make a sixteen-sided dice? Or a spherical dice, like a marble? Say that again. Like, couldn't you have a 16-sided dice instead of a 4-sided dice? Or a, uh, a marble as a dice, like a spherical dice? Oh, a spherical dice. Well, or, the, or just a 16-sided dice instead of a 4-sided dice. Well, the, 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 it had to be keep with the, you got to have the opposite corners. OK. And so the, uh, the, if the Earth uh, was a uh, cube and it rotated, it'd be a rough ride because the, the, the cube in, in the uh, atmosphere, it'd be, so it's got to be the round. But if you see the, uh, uh, here's a, from the North Pole, if you put a card table astride the North Pole and ran a line from one table leg down to a point on the equator, it takes that point on the equator 24 hours to rotate. It takes that card table leg the same 24 hours to rotate. But now, as you're moving up the, uh, the Earth planet, the dimensions get smaller, and the uh, but your, your time is still measured from your outer outer thing where it, it, it's made it's decided at the equator. So that time goes straight on up, and but it takes that it take would take that Your bedroom has six corners. That's nice. Stream a first flower. That's ninety six, and it's, it's like the. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Spirits and the um, uh, nah. I don't want the reward money, I just want some. And, and you go around, nah. I don't want the reward money, I just want science to be furthered. <laughs> um, first of all, as an axiom, uh, there exists four corners of the earth, I IFF, if and only if it is cubic. There exists four corners of the earth, hear me now, if and only if it is cubic. I have to establish that before I can uh, derive a contradiction. First of all, um, suppose for the sake of contradiction, it is- He's gonna debate time cube guy? Oh no. It's not cubic. Could it be five dimensional? Surely it can't be five dimensional. Because if you existed in five dimensions of space, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't get me off here. Like, if you existed in, in five dimensions of space, you'd have your, it would look like a Picasso painting. It'd be ridiculous. <laughs> now, if it existed in three dimensions- Is he trying to out crazy the crazy guy? That's, that's, that's an interesting debate strategy in this case. If it was like a pyramid and not like a cube, if it existed in only three dimensions, uh, then, then you were standing in one of the corners, you'd have nowhere to stand, because you have to crouch down. Not- <laughs> The person in the green shirt right here, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but it looks like he's in pain watching this. <laughs> Tea with Goblin says, so I love Tinfoil Tuesday, but it streams at like 7 a.m. Sydney time and I listen to it without headphones while I'm getting ready for work. It's a great way to start the day, but it does mean that my partner is often woken up by incoherent conspiracy nonsense from Hannah's various lol cows. Totally worth the awkward explanations. Uh, I don't, excuse me. I'm just the ignorant, I mean. Uh, nah, you, but do you, no, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like if, if time, if, if the earth was like a pyramid, if the earth was like a pyramid and someone was trying to stand in one of the corners, you can't stand. That was close enough to Hannah dies from laughter. I'll allow it. We're spending a lot of time on this video today anyway, so. Corner of a pyramid unless you're like a baby. Cause, <laughs> no, because babies. <laughs> but you, you can play. Because babies can, are short. You can play six pyramids in one cube. What's that? Six, you can play six pyramids yeah, within one cube. Yeah, exactly. And if you, can if you can put six pyramids in one cube, then how can you exist in a pyramid? You have to be one six of yourself. And surely it can't. And so, no, it has, and those are things, those are things that have four corners because 
surely something that has more than four dimensions is going to have four corners. But uh, now suppose that it had less than that. Because I've already done the case of supposing it has more than that. Now suppose it has less than that as a contradiction. Now if it was just... Are we watching just... Peter Day? There's no new Peter. His wife gave birth yesterday, so he's probably very busy. The square, then we'd all be flat. You need a spat. We are supposed to talk Thursday, though, so we'll see if that still happens. Spatula to go to work. And it doesn't work like that. So that's a contradiction right there. So now I've established, beyond a shadow of a doubt, certainly that there exists four corners of the earth if and only if it is cubic. Now I can derive a contradiction based on that axiom. Suppose for the sake of contradiction, time cube is not true. Now I've already said that there are time, that uh, if time cube is true, that that is the sufficient and necessary evidence for there to be four corners of the earth. Now if time cube's not true, then certainly there are not four corners of the earth. And simply, there is sunrise, sunset, darkness, and light. Did you wake up this morning and see sun, sunrise? If you didn't, then, then I don't know who you, because I saw sunrise. That is irrefutable evidence. Time, suppose for the sake of contradiction, time cube is not true, then there are not four corners of the earth. Sunrise did not happen this morning. And I know as a certainty sun, that sunrise happened this morning, that is irrefutable evidence. <laughs> I wanted to address uh, actually your proof of the time cube, and um, I, I understood from reading your web page and stuff like that that it follows from your revelation of time cube that you are above God. Is that correct? Yeah, God, God, God only created one day. I mean, yeah, one first day, but actually they have four first days. Okay, so if you're above God, then by any reasonable definition of what it means to be a God, you should be able to do anything, right? No. How I, 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 I only know the, I only know the time cube. I, I know the time, the time cube. cube exists. I know there are four different days in one rotation of Earth. I would not count ancient one. wisdom now. And the, uh, I know there are four. So I, if, if I said those words, would I be above God too, or would I need well, to well, demonstrate something more? Well, I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm wiser. I'm wiser than God. Not above. I say I'm wiser. You're he wiser than God. One day. Can you create a rock that you can't lift? <laughs> Do what now? Can you create a rock that you can't lift? A rock that I can't lift? Right, yeah. Well, using what? <laughs> you ought to what be able of... to just manifest it if you're wiser than God. Well, no. I mean, a God in human form is no stronger than I am. A God in human form is no stronger yeah, than you are. Yeah, he's no stronger than I am. Okay. Just like, just like your mind in a tiger so, doesn't make, you, make the tiger any stronger. Right, my mind in a tiger. So... <laughs> He basically just said he could beat up Jesus. In what sense can you claim to be wiser than God? Uh, Demonstrate. God, God only created one day, and He, he only uh, and I created four first days. Because they never existed, I claim I, I created them because they never existed until I brought them up and, and showed proof of them. There's never been any books, and we got a bunch of those around. This is how, how? What's the mechanism by which? DNA variations in melanin content alter the fabric of space-time. I don't get it. Um, and I don't understand how this fits in. Explain to me how either your theory works somehow, and, I, and, and then in that case... It I don't know what confuses me more. The people who are genuinely trying to, like this, have a discourse with him, or the people who are just fucking with him. Because both are bad in different ways. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, though. It can be empirically verified, and it would have to agree with what we know about science already. Geology, cosmology, evolution, biology, molecular genetics, molecular medicine. None of this supports your theory. And I don't understand. Either all of that's wrong, or your theory holds. So, How many directions does Earth turn in simultaneously? We say the sun sits in the west, but how many, how many does it, uh, where does it come from? It's not my job to explain where it come from. The, 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 the standard, well, listen to me, the standard of a theory, the purpose of a scientific theory is to explain observable phenomenon. We have a very basic utilitarian view of what time does, beginning with the earliest physicists 
on all the way to the quantum people who even don't believe the time is weirdness. Uh, it explains something. It helps us do something in calculus. It's that little T in all those equations. It explains, it, it keeps all the events from happening at the same time. That's what time does. It's, it's an independent quantity that operates independently of consciousness. And it, it's, it's measured scientifically, which means that it's not subject to subjective human factors. It operates the same wherever you are at. Coupling time to subjective human consciousness is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. You know, time is different in New York than Miami. <laughs> time zones! Based on what? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> It's a couple of hours off from the little hand and how we measure time. Well, well actually, the circumference. How we the measure Earth, time the Earth varies. Circumference, the underlying Earth temporal stuff isn't the, different. The Earth's circumference at New York is shorter than it is at Miami. And so the time varies there. And in other words, the, it's, uh, the time is slower. No, sir. The only difference in time, and it's an artificial difference time, is induced by relativistic effects and solely a function of your frame of reference. If you go faster, push the speed of light, people out. You can't understand that simple math. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I die and go to heaven, I'll tell Einstein and Richard Feynman and all his friends that I, wrong. I call Einstein the father of nuclear waste. All right, we're going to go on to our next proof and then back into questions. Talk right in the mic. Thank you. That was good. All right. I think I found the definitive proof of Time Cube, and it involves the one and only Phil Collins. In the 1980s, <laughs> there were two charity concerts occurring on the same day uh, called Live Aid. One occurred in the UK, and one occurred in New York. And Phil Collins, being the great man that he is, <laughs> took the Concord over and managed to play at both concerts. Now, when he left, it was daylight. And when he arrived in New York, it was daylight. And him being a white male, he is inexpressibly linked with daylight. And I think that just absolutely <laughs> proves time. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it does. He's so happy. Zathura6, thanks for subscribing for two months. I think the evidence stands for itself. <laughs> See, this guy gets the joke. This guy's... Stop. Stop it. Stop it. I have a... I have a theory or a question about your theory. Uh, how uh, how in the world would a person exist with two parents, one being the child of a completely black person and a completely white person, and the other parent being the child of an Indian person, or uh, the other parent being the child of an Indian person and a, uh, an Asian person? How would that person exist? Well, it would be rough. I used to live in a place in Alabama up in the it, it, it called Beat 14. You know, a black person wasn't in there, couldn't stay in there after midnight. But now, it's places, uh, black villages like Miami somewhere, and uh, Detroit, some a white person better not, better not be caught in there after dark. Remember the English uh, uh, tourists that went, got off the expressway and they were killed down in the black area. And so, it, uh, look at the, what happened to the, uh, at LA uh, uh, when they had that uh, disaster out there. They drug his white guy out of the cabin and beat him over the head with blocks and fire extinguishers. And so all that's going to come out, and the educated whites, they're going to have to uh, uh, work with their own kind, or else their the own kind will uh, destroy them. And I'm What the fuck, Ray? One more question about your background. You said that when you were younger, you dealt with marbles a lot, and you enjoyed mm -hmm. marbles. Yeah. At what point in time did you leave your marbles behind? Well, I don't, I don't know. I kind of 
just got rid of. I got rid of two tons of them here recently. I used to carry around two two okay. tons of them. Thank you. And some of the marbles today, you see, the uh, sulfide and so forth, they're worth a thousand dollars a piece. Okay, thank you. And but if you played marbles, like I asked some guy about uh, uh, deal play marbles, he said it's a kid's game. I said you want to play for a thousand dollars? He said no, I'm not that good. But I guarantee you, if you ever played marbles for big money, it'd be the biggest play game, uh, biggest game of skill in the world. man's children or whatever come and get your dad he needs help come on the four dimensions you say that everything exists in four dimensions right right okay so i want to buy a couch for my dorm and i want to make sure it fits in it not just in three dimensions but in all four dimensions so if i'm going to measure it i'm going to measure the width how deep it is and how tall it is but what, how what do i measure for the other dimension because i really want to make sure it fits well, you, you go in and you measure your corners. Now, what you're speaking of is volume. But uh, if, if, if you go in there and you go to put, which corner you're going to put your bed in? Uh-huh. I think it's probably the back right you don't, corner. You only have, well, have four corners, right? Right. To put right. your bed in. Well, what if it's big enough that it kind of stretches and touches more than one corner? How would I make sure that it's going to fit in correctly? Well, that'd just be a disfigured cube. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Thank you. Marble streamer when... Have, uh, the cubes are, we see them as perfect, but they can be imperfect like a human can. And that's what worms, cricket, grasshoppers, all animals, they go by this cubic theory. That's what they exist by. They don't have a God. They don't have to go to school, get educated. They exist by the cubic principle. How does the moon? moon's not anchored in concrete. It doesn't have a cable to it. It exists out Gra there. Gravity. You know, by a principle. It's, it's a principle that keeps it in place. If we keep mucking around out there, we're going to upset this principle, and the whole thing's going to collapse. So <laughs> we better stop going to space, or else we're going to anger what connects the moon to the Earth, and it's going to slingshot the moon away from the Earth. We don't, we don't know about that principle, but that's what the moon stays out, and we, it has full, uh, full quarters every month. Hey, uh, I'm not really concerned with the logic or fallacy of the time cube theory or proving or disproving it. Uh, I'm curious about what we as a human race or I individually have to gain from the time cube theory or following its tenets. Well, if we don't understand and adhere to the time cube principles like the, uh, like the family and the fam family values and the uh, village values, we're going, to, we're going to be destroyed. And that's what uh, religion says. It, uh, we, we, and, uh, we're going to be destroyed, and so uh, they, they don't care whether it's protected or not. Actually, uh, uh, people who think as uh, will rotate around Earth, two of us operate. All right, so um, now we know that one of the most wonderful things about you know knowledge is that we can apply it to for a better means. Of course, you agree with this. That one of the best things about knowledge is that we can apply it, and it's useful to us. Will, I would like to know, Time Cube is in fact a theory of everything. I believe we've come to that conclusion. I would like to know how to apply it in order to get a date. Getting a date? Yes, sir. But to take it out there and impress her with it. Tell her you understand that. <laughs> Should I use... But, but the... Uh, uh, I see what I was going to say there. Anyhow, I got off the path there. That's, Ask me that question again. All right, sir. I think I've been using these single corner methods that just, they don't, appear to, they don't appeal to women, do they? I think that maybe if I used your cubic methods, I could lure women to me with more efficiency. Is this, do you think that's possible? <laughs> lure women with more well, efficiency? Try it. Try it? <laughs> try it. All right. Now, let me tell you something else about a woman. You know how a lemon has uh, a round and road has two nipples on the end? Then cut it in half, put the two flat sides, then the nipples have a common perspective like the eyes, and then they can move in one direction towards you. Thank you, sir. Thank
Lemon, lemon nipples. Lemon, <laughs> lemon, lemon boobs. Lemon, I've, okay, I'm broken. He broke me. I'm broken. I'm done. He broke me. Tea with Goblin says, do not question the time cube. Do not anger the moon. Adjust your tinfoil and try to sleep. Phil Collins is always watching. <laughs> and Lokart says, rip, Hannah. Killjoy says, lemon party. Uh, Kirthen says, two lemon halves and a coconut and you got a good night. <laughs> Thank you. They don't know they're lemons. Lemons don't know they're lemons. That's, that you know, that's actually true. Lemons don't know they're lemons. Uh, thank you for taking my question, Dr. A. Uh, my question is really quick. Um, you've said many times, and uh, it's right on uh, the uh, board behind you, that creation is cubic. But creation implies that there is a creator. But you've said multiple times that either there, um, I'm, I'm not real clear on this, but either there is no God or God is evil. So if God is evil and created the universe and it's cubic and cubism is perfect, then why, why would he do that? If there is no God, then why would the universe bother being cubic at all? Well, I'm going to see if I can get all that in there together. But the, uh, anyhow, we'll go back to the opposites. Like, like my word and your word, we're kind of different. And as an entity, neither my word nor your word exists. They kind of, and, and as you're like male and female, they exist as opposites. A plus and minor exist as opposites. As an entity, they don't exist. Everything exists as opposites. So you can have a, a god and a, a non-god. They are opposites. But as an entity, they don't exist. Okay, thank you. All right, Dr. Ray, thank you for coming to talk to us today. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I have just a real simple, quick question. Uh, is that uh, scientific theories or you know laws of things, there are usually type of, uh, they, they're proven by experiments. Uh, so if you were talking to somebody about, you know, the uh, law of gravity, then you would point to, uh, like, the orbits of the planets uh, and bodies like that, or, you know, take a ball and drop it, and it falls toward the center of the Earth. What, what kind, if, if somebody asked me, you know, uh, what is uh, cubic creation or, or what is uh, cubism, you know, what kind of experiment can I... When life gives you lemons, cut them in half and make lemon boobs. Don't judge my fruit choices. You know, use to prove to them that, <clears throat> that there is, you know, uh, cubism in, in the universe. Well, there's a bond. The cubes are uh, separate, but there's a bond between the two hemispheres. There's a bond between the two sexes. And, but it's a principle. Like the, it the holds the moon in place. It creates a, it's a principle. There's no cave. They give, like, like you said, our, you know, our dad. We're almost done, guys, and, and then we'll get on to some DNA, other stuff. And that builds the building blocks that are cubic. And so, what I'm saying is that it's not just, I mean, I see how it comes from our parents and everything, but it's also that it's inside of us, and it's what makes us who we are. And that's, and that's time cubed to me. Yeah, you, you go around the four corners in a lifetime. You're not, you're not a human entity, because these four baby child parent and grandparent do not occur at the same time. You're not an entity. Actually, you're cubic. So you go around the full quarter corner, baby child, parent, grandparent. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, mine's not really a question, it's more of just a comment. Uh, you came today and you have a lot of uh, belief in the time theory, and I'd just like to applaud you on that. Um, okay, sorry. Okay, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for coming to talk about this, because you have a lot of, um, I don't know, belief in this. Uh, and. It's, I don't know, it's really Menu nice frog, to see people do, still believe in things. But um, I just wanted to say that while I might not believe with the word you say, I'll defend to the death your right to say it. And thank you for coming. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What a waste of everyone's time. Let me, let me, let me just say one word. Uh, get down to it. No human has a right to act upon a wrong belief. We need to seek the proper relief. relief. There's over 2,000 different religions. Therefore, they all are erroneous because there should only be uh, one. If there was one religion, they would not allow the others to exist. <laughs> I like that that guy's like, 
I'll defend your right to free speech. And he goes, no, fuck free speech. Everyone should believe what I believe. <laughs> but we need, we need to bring the whole thing uh, uh, down to... The cube comes in all kinds of... Atoms is a cube. Every, everything is funny for you. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. Okay, so my hearing's not that great, and I was sitting in the back. So first, I want to make sure I understood uh, you correctly. So you have cube. And you have, you say, you know. You'd kill for that kind of confidence. Daddy Sume, you've literally shared with us your OC character with two penises. I think you have plenty of confidence. Now, the four different times, the four corners. Right. And you have the black and white and red and yellow. Yeah. Now, all these are four. And to me, that equates to a square. And uh, you were also saying that, you know, you have two different cubes. You have one masculine cube and one feminine cube, right? Yeah. Wouldn't it make more sense to have that square expand it and make masculine on one side, feminine on the other? That way you have the option of each corner could be one person, like each edge. You could have well, feminine, like, Indian. Midday, midday be a light race, Sunday, uh, midnight to black, and it, where there are two majors, those are two majors. And can can you speak slower? I can't understand. And all further division to occur. Face. It, full corner head and one corner face, but you go around a full corner face in a lifetime. If you want to continue discussion with Dr. Ray on any of uh, these questions about time cube, just uh, wait until after. Uh, we're we're going to just wrap up right now, so we'll... <clears throat> wow. What I find interesting is the ethics of this, right? Is it okay for them to bring him here and effectively make fun of him to his face considering he genuinely doesn't understand it and he had a good time doing it? Because I've seen interviews he's done after he's done talks like this and he's very proud of getting to go to these universities and have these talks. He doesn't know they're all making fun of him, but he genuinely loved it. It's just very, very strange. So that's, 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 uh, Gene Ray, uh, the wisest man to ever live. And that's his time cube. <laughs>